Okay, yeah, that's right. I'm live again. Yeah, I was just live. I was just live, and now I'm live again because the sun has decided to shine. So I'm gonna take the most of it. So every time I go to do this one, um, the sun decides that it is not going to cooperate. So even though I have a light on out here, okay, yeah, that's right. I'm live again. I am going to clean off the glass with Windex. It's all nice and dry. I'm going to do this one, which is the welcome to our porch. Because I figured I can just put it on my window and I don't have to use a sign for it. It's chalk, paste. It'll come off when I wipe it off whenever I want to. Um, it's actually easier to put it on with the chalk paste than it is the um, normal window paint. You just going to make sure that you don't want your window to be like super hot when you're doing it. Which today is not going to be a problem. So I am going to fuzz up my transfer. You can see this one is stained and glittery. So I do like to do it with... The black shadow paste but this time I'm going to use the shimmer splash which is the new blue glitter so I'm just going to fuzz it up really well because it's going on glass so I definitely want to make sure that it is not sticky and I've done this one several times so the more that you use it the less you have to fuzz it okay so I'm just going to center on my window and at night when the light inside is on, it should shine through nicely. So I do like to sit out here with the light stuff. All right, so can you see that all right? Yeah, you can see that pretty good. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab my shimmer paste. This should be really quick and easy. Keep the seal for your protection foam lid on in it. Put it in there, and I am gonna use my it's called small small versus the mini I don't know why so this is I it's really a large one but it's small technically it's because it's such a large one it help you smooth out air bubbles too um, it's just for convenience it's just gonna make it easier because it covers a wider area so you can see how quick and easy it would be to do a window this should take me no time at all um, likely it took me longer to Windex the window clean. Um, mostly it was the inside I needed to Windex because in the winter I have, um, humidifiers going like crazy. So they don't like dry out my sinuses and stuff and they give me headaches. So because of that, it puts a lot of moisture in the air, which then gets condensation on the window. So every spring I need to go through and, um, clean that. And with chalk paste, it doesn't matter what direction you go in. And since I'm only using one color, I shouldn't have to pull and peel, uh, which is where you where it, just to make sure that it doesn't start drying. You should pull up sections of it. But it's going pretty quickly because it's one color. But I mean, you could do, I could have done a rainbow effect. Hopefully this blue, this blue is dark enough where it should show up fine. So if you notice when I put it on, I put it on thick where you can't really see the letters and then scrape off the excess and then I put the excess in the next area until I run out of it. And then the excess goes back in the jar. Okay, that's all good. Seal this back up and then we'll take it off and see how it looks. And there's the sun again. It's frustrating the only time it comes out is what is the setting? So when you pull these off, you want to kind of like get the corners up and just take your time. Don't be in a rush because you don't want to stretch it and then just peel it off. Nice and hurry. And I'm looking at the letters as I'm pulling it down in case I see where I missed a spot. Sometimes the edge of letters, it can happen. Um, but I get a nice crisp line on it. Nice crisp letters. Perfect. Nope, all set. Now I have to do is clean this off, which I'll do back inside. It did stick on itself, but if for some reason it gets like that, usually you can pull it apart, but if you can't, just add a little water to it and it'll unstick itself. I've had the other ones, I've had them crumpled up in a ball before. So hopefully you can see this. I'm going to bring this in a little closer. Hopefully I don't mess up the camera while I'm doing it. So you 
can see that it's the welcome to our porch in the shimmer splash which of course all right let me try to kill this light and see if you can see that a little bit better there there i'll try to take a picture of it tonight when i've got the light on inside and nothing on outside so that works pretty good Nice, crisp, clear. And now it's going to stay there until I clean it off. So, I mean, if I want to leave it there for a year, it's fine. It'll stay there for a year. It's an enclosed front porch. It's not going to get wet. All right. I hope you guys liked looking at this one. I don't know if I got any comments. Um, I didn't, but this was just a really quick one. So, look, five minutes. I got everything ready and did it. So, nice and easy. All right. You guys have a great Sunday night. Good luck at work tomorrow. Bye.